Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. I'm really thrilled you're here with me today. It's Finish It Up Friday. So today we're going to finish up um, our master boards. Now, last time I saw you, I only had two completed. And I want to finish up today by decorating. So let's decorate today. This little board right here is um, something that I did. It's a mixed media. I don't know if you can see but I used a lot of different textures, just so, textured paste, um, stamping. Um, these are napkins that have been, you know, um, glued on. And um, so this is something that I did as a mixed media board, but I wanted to show you what you could do with a master board. You don't just have to turn it into a tag or a um, journaling card. It could be a cover. It can be a piece of art. Um, you could put it in. You could put it into your art book. You can cut it up and use it for ephemera. So I just kind of wanted to show you some of what you could do with these. You probably think, oh, I've seen a million of these. Well, these are twelve by twelve, so there isn't a lot of videos out on this. Just a couple. Um, and I did them because I fell in love with them, and I wanted to see what I could do with them. I already know one of them is going to be a um, journal cover. I know some of these are not going to get completely decorated because I want to leave them plain and I will do it when I'm ready to use them. It's going to go into my stash. I am stash building right now. I'm building tags and journaling cards and master boards and things so that when I want to make a journal, it isn't taking me forever because right now for me to do a journal just takes forever because I have all the uh, ephemera to make and everything that goes on with that. And so... It's just taking me too long. So what I want to do now is make sure that I am, you know, building up some stuff. So that's the whole point of what you're doing. And you're going to see me finish these up, maybe a couple of other projects if we can get to it. If not, we'll do them on, make it on Monday. I have all kinds of things to share with you. So I'm going to do some fun um, new things next week that hopefully you haven't seen. Uh, I know that you see videos, oh, she's making it now. She's, well, yeah, we all follow each other. We are all inspired by each other. We all put our own spin on it. This is what I did with a master board I did a while ago. And it was just a basic, basic thing. And then I started covering in layers and this is what you get. So I'm going to move that off to the side because I don't need that right now. And um, I hope you all, I know I'm off camera. I'll be back in a minute. I hope you all had a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Uh, no, weekend, week. <laughs> it's already Friday. Can you believe it? Oh, I swear it was just Monday yesterday. <sighs> I don't know why I said weekend. Uh, probably because my brain wishes I was the weekend. <laughs> We're going into the next one. So anyway, let's get busy with these. Um, so I had finished this in the last video. And I believe I finished this one as well. I did the tops. Now, this is the back. This is what they ended up looking like. I just, I got some, um, oh, kids construction paper and some coffee dyed paper and some other papers. And I just used those for the back because I don't know what I'm going to do with them. So I don't want to do anything more than that. So these two are done. Let me set those aside for a minute. Then I was able to do, I think I started this on my last video and this was all the giant receipts. Uh, and this is how it came out. And here's the back of this one. Nothing exciting. And it makes it nice and thick. So you could do all kinds of things with this. Now, I do know if we fold it or we cut it, we're going to have some loose edges and we'll just glue those down when we're done. Then I decided I wanted a book page one, just book pages. And these are all different languages. Well, I think that one's English. So that's a different language, right? An Italian... Um, I don't know. Some of these languages are German or Greek, French, Italian, Italian. Uh, so a variety of book pages that could just be used for anything. And this is very, very neutral. And I probably won't do much with that today. And then my favorite. Oh, I love this. I loved all the pinks and the pretties. And oh, I forgot to show you. Okay, that one has this on the back. Nothing exciting. This one is the music page one. And I had music papers in all different colors. So I thought that made a really cool. Now this one, I didn't keep them whole pages. This one had mostly whole pages. 
This one, same here. I just covered one over the other or cut them down a little bit, but this was not small group collage, not tiny little scraps. These are big uh, collage. This one's a little bit smaller, but this one is going to be a journal cover. I did not put the back on it. Not, I'm not going to leave this, but I didn't put the back on it because more than likely, this one's gonna get some fabric. Now that's gonna be real pretty. It's gonna have some fabric. So, um, I haven't, I'm not going to do anything with that today or that. Mm, I might do something with that. Definitely these two. Okay, so let's start with those. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do all of them, just a couple, because I have some fun ideas for these. And I could hear I have a little bit of a, I missed it with the glue stick. I can tell there was not even any glue on it. I did these kind of, I did these while watching a, a live video with Maggie and Lori, uh, Lori Girl on the Ridge and Maggie um, White last night, or Tuesday night, excuse me, Tuesday night. So I finished them up that while watching their lovely channel and having a good laugh. I enjoy those girls very much. And everyone on the group is, is a lot of fun. So um, let's see. I checked this too. I even checked this last night when I was prepping for the video. So, well, that's all right. You know, it, it's glued and then it isn't because you're gluing a lot of different weights and kinds of paper together. Sorry about the snuffles. The allergies are horrible today. Even if I took my meds, I, I know I'm complaining about them, but I've never had them in my whole life. I don't know what to do with it. I always had kind of mild, you know, like everybody else, a little sniffle here and there, but not like this year. I think it's because we had no rain. All right. Okay, I think this one's sealed and ready to go. So, my idea for one of these, I got a brand new kit. Oh, I just fell in love with it. It is from My Porch Prints. And it is a, well, she called it a steampunk vintage kit. I'm not into steampunk, but a lot of the images were vintage. And I thought, oh, they lent, lent themselves very well to vintage. So I'm going to use some of those and I'm trying to decide which, I don't think I'm going to do it on that one because this one's already pretty busy. I think this one's going to get, if I, I did a lot of fussy cutting. Ooh, my hands. Um, this one's going to get some ladies. I think we're going to do some fun fun things with these ladies, something like that. Okay, so this one's gonna be that. And I think with that, I'm also going to add some, maybe some roses, something like that. So this is kind of where this one's gonna go. Kiss, I ask you to tell me what I was gonna do. <laughs> Not that I can hear you. Oh, sometimes I wish I could. Cause you know, you always want that second opinion. And I have to ask my husband and bless his heart. He really tries to help me with stuff, but we don't see things the same way creatively. So I'm gonna put that aside. So I think this is gonna be my steampunky vintage. Now I did a lot of fussy cutting, but I didn't do, um, I did a lot of kiss cutting. I didn't do a lot of fussy cutting because I don't know what I want to use. I kind of know. I think I want her as my focal point. So it may be that she's going to get, let's look at what I have here. Okay, so we have words. We've got some we've got keys. We've got hats. Those are cute. There's more keys. There's a cute little carriage. Kind of some, okay. With those. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder if I could build around that. I like to build around it. Whether I'll cut it up or what it's going to be, I don't know because you know me. I just see, look at all these. Oh, I love that. Oh, it could be that one too. Hmm. I'm going to cut this apart because it's bugging me to look at both sides at the same time. I'm not going to leave it in this form, as you know. It's going to get cut around, probably fussy cut. So let's see. We could have that. That. Oh, I like everything. Uh-oh. The only thing I dislike about this is it's blue, and I want to keep things in the pinks. Shoot. Okay. Well, these all come, all these images come from my porch prints. Um, 
<laughs> I thought this was going to be a lot of ladies, but I'm wondering now. She's quite pretty. She's quite, quite pretty. I mean, I'm kind of, I, I'm, oh, I found her. 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 There she is. There she is. There's my girl. I knew she was here. I mean, look at all these fun, fun, fun pieces. And this is just a few of them. I mean, the kit's huge as usual. Great value. Um, look at all these. So these are going to get used in here. But she is definitely going to get used. Now, the question is, do I keep her in the form she's in, or do we cut her up a little bit? So, she's kind of big. I don't need all this pretty around it, so I'm thinking I'm going to... I'm going to kind of kiss cut this around. I don't need a fussy, fussy cut it, but if I do, I will. You know, really, when you get something in a digital. Now, if you don't have digitals, of course, use whatever you have. Anything and everything you've got. Scrapbook paper, whatever. It doesn't have to be digitals. I just have lots of digitals, so that's what I'm doing. But I do have a project coming up that has a lot of non-digital. It'll have some in it maybe, but not as much as I normally use. So, okay. I just kind of scooted around that to see what I thought. I'm going to pop that into the garbage. Really, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, maybe one little thing I might keep, but I don't know. It's kind of dinky. Put that over there. Let's throw this part away. I always look to see if there's something I could use on something else. As you know, the smaller the piece, the better I'm happier. Now, I have to decide if I like all this little little stuff or whether I just really want to cut this down even more. All right, we'll leave it like that for the moment. You're really going to get to see my thought process today. <laughs> uh, okay. Got some pretty keys. I know I'm going to want some of those. I'm definitely going to want some butterflies. Um, I think I'm going to use the pretty, the bigger, um, one thing I like about uh, Dreams, etc. and my porch prints and a jewel design is they put a nice little cutting area around you. So if you want to just kiss cut it or you want, kiss cutting means that you don't go right to the very, very edge for those of you who are new to journaling. Fussy cut means you get right into every crack and crevice and you make sure there's no extra outline. On this one, I'm not going to worry about that so much just because um, it's meant to be a bit grungy, which means, guess what? I got to pull out the inks. Ladies, hold on a minute. Excuse my arm. I didn't do a ton, ton, ton of um, prep because I really didn't know where I was going to go with this. So hold on, I got to get my inks. There we go. I didn't even know which board I was going to start with. I usually don't want to, I don't want to stifle my creativity because that's what happens if I try to plan too much. I just sit here blank. So like all of you, I have the same problem where I'll go blank and I can't think of anything I want to do. So you're seeing this. As I told you way back in the beginning, I'm a fly by the seat of my pants crafter. I wait for something to hit me and then I go for it. I don't want my work to look like anyone else's either. So, As I said, I saw a number of other ladies uh, do this on their videos. And they were both different. I don't know if anyone else did these. Um, I don't follow everybody. <laughs> it's too hard. Especially now with making videos and um, prepping and everything. I just don't have the kind of time I did. I used to watch videos all day, literally. All right. I'm going to kind of put these in zones because, and there'll be clusters in zones. Because should I decide to cut it up, I want to make sure that I can cut it up and use it. So i got to kind of keep that in mind when I'm doing my thing here. I'm also not going to keep them straight. That just takes away all the creativity if I do that. For me. For me, me, me. Not for anybody else. 
We are all so different in this industry. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness no two of us are alike. It'd be awfully boring otherwise. We have keys. I don't know. What do we think? I want some clocks. I've got this clock, but in... I think that would be too big. Would take her over. I want to keep everything kind of in... I'm just going through my... Gosh, I love that hat. It's so cute. I don't need that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a pile of things I know I'm not gonna use. Let's do that, because that might make it easier for me so that I don't have so much on my desk in front of me confusing the living daylights out of me. Um, to the left, to the right. All right. Um, I know I'm gonna use these at some point. Oh, these aren't these adorable? They're cute little uh, tickets. I might use those. I don't think I'll put any other ladies. I'm just gonna have, oh, you know what though? Come to think of it, I if I cut these up, I would only have one card with a lady on it. So we may be using these ladies. Okay, oh, I love that. Aren't these adorable? Look at those, aren't they cute? So I'm gonna have to get little clusters, I think, the, to make this work for me. Aha, I was looking for that. And here's, okay, these are okay. Keep wanting to throw that little piece away I just cut. I know it's going in the garbage can before I'm done today, I'm pretty sure. And then we have these, and I don't think I'm gonna use those. So those are gonna go to the no, no way pile. Now, I just had those corsets about 10 seconds ago because I'm gonna need a couple corsets, I think. I love that look. I have a thing about corsets. I don't know what it is. I have worn them in my life off and on for parties and fun dance, you know, stuff when in the 80s. I used to dress up and do the hair and the whole bit. All right, so I feel like we need, I'll get back and eat these after. I'm gonna need a bigger hat because I just think this little one might be too small, but you never know. We're going to do, and I have a shadow, so it's going to be hard for me to cut today. I am finding it difficult to film in this room. So I think come next week, I'm going to try some different lighting, maybe an alt light. I don't have a lot of lights for this room. I'll get my garbage bucket. Okay, that's a lot of roses. Oof, everything has roses. Well, it's going to be rosy. Rosy, rosy, rosy. So, because I'm getting terrible shadows and I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing and I'm having to stick my head in the camera, so... And it's irritating just to me. Not imagine how you ladies feel about it. <clears throat> Got my usual frog in the throat today. Makes it hard for me to enunciate. So how is everyone? I hope you're all well, happy, having a good time, doing some crafting. Hopefully you're crafting along with me. A number of you told me that you turn my videos on and I keep you company while you craft and I absolutely adore that. That's so kind of you. We, I, That was the whole goal for doing this is to have someone to craft along with and fun things like that. Um, Okay, we got that maybe. I don't know. Things are going to get moved around. Don't don't get excited. I love this, but it's too, uh, like, square. Don't you think? Nothing else is. And I've got enough squares on here to last a lifetime. So I'm going to kiss cut this big. You know what I mean? I'm not going to... Um, I want to leave some of the outside, but not all of it. i got to take the square off this because... Everything's square in here. I feel like we need some other things. That has some interesting. I'll have to look at that later. So off camera you go, my friend. So we have that. Kind of like the idea of like that. Don't know about that. Um, I do. I do. Hmm. Have I hit the end of my different... I know there was a carriage. I think I want a carriage down here. Excuse my arm. 
back into camera we go. I think sometimes it's fun to see how someone chooses something. I, I won't dither around too much. Um, if I have a limited amount of time to do this and I would love to get two done, but probably not. Might have to, I do want some words. Those are gonna go on there. See, there's a carriage, but I don't know if that's too tiny. The key really overshadows it. Oh, I love this couple. But if I put them in the middle, then I would take her out. So I'm kind of in a, I'm quandary. Didn't I have another carriage? I do. Okay. My brain's still functioning. I hate to cut all that off just for the carriage. So let's try this one first. And if it doesn't give me what I want... Well, goodness, Lorette, come on. You can do better than that. I need to get into the groove. I'm not sort of not there yet. I know what I need. Where did I put it? Oh, it's off to the side over here. Let me do a little. I hope this is, there we go. This absolutely needs some ink to make up for the part I just got off because it's already sort of pre-inked. She does do that. I think it's, um, I think it's Stephanie, isn't it? Over at My Porch Prints. She kind of puts it in there. So what if we, I don't mind that so much because it's rounded. I think that's okay. All right, looks like it's time to ink. Just a bit. Like I said, I purposely left white here because I know I was going to... Oh, goodness. Don't have lots to tell you. Um, maybe a little bit. Let's see. Toby's doing well, getting his meds. Before I start my videos, I make sure he gets all his medicine. He's doing better. Still not really wanting to get up and go outside yet, but he's an indoor-outdoor kitty. All my other cats are indoor only. He was wild when I got him, and we were able to tame him 99%, but there's still that little bit of, he doesn't like to be in the house, he feels caged in. He wants to come in and say hello, but the other cats are fri frightened of him. They don't understand why he's not here all the time. Especially the babies. I call them babies. <laughs> they're going to be five. Misty and Tommy. But they're babies to me, because all my other cats are in their teens, <laughs> so... 14 and 16, so he doesn't seem to want to go out. So maybe today where my husband and I are hoping he'll go out in the sunshine. And I call him my garage cat. He likes to be in the garage. He doesn't want to be in the house, but he loves the garage. He has a big old giant condo that has three, four layers. He has a smaller one, he has beds, he has toys, he has everything the cats in the house have, but he doesn't want to be in the house, so something about that, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go to my itty bitties. Well, I was going to go to my, oh, there they are. Okay, girl, get going here. Sorry, there's something on my scissors. These were my mom's. I think I mentioned that before. She used them to cut threads. She didn't do a lot of embroidery work, although at one time I think she did, but she mainly used these for just cutting thread and <sighs> cutting out hems and, you know, things that were, if she had a hem that she needed to remove, she would cut all the stitches with the tips. Man, that she could do is precision work. So they're not as sharp as they used to be, so I use them for my papers. It allows me to get into those. And yes, I am taking my sweet time on this one. This is very fiddly, as Tina would say. Oh, 
we go. Don't know where that's going. I think it goes that way. Yes, it does. Don't you put it in? Yeah, that's right. Got to think about which way does the lock go? Like that. Okay. Very unique. Um, I have another one here. So I need something here. Might be that that's going to go up there. I think we might need some more ladies. Let's see if we can add some more ladies to this. I definitely don't want the blues. I don't mind the gray. Isn't there, I thought I had one more lady. Did I have one more lady? I'm pretty sure I did. Because when I was cutting it, I thought there, yep. <laughs> I knew there was. I thought there were four. Oh, she definitely, I want her. Because I can't look at this as one big picture. I have to look at it as, you know, something that's being cut up. Um, I do better with the straight edge with the big scissors. Not that I'm even going to keep them like this. I mean, probably not. Mm -hmm. okay. Now it's kind of like playing cards. <laughs> Where is it going to go? It is a, another beautiful, warm, sunny, blue sky, California day. For those of you that don't know where I live, I'm what's called Central Coast, meaning we're the central part of California, but we're coastal. We're about, oh, 30 to 45 minutes from the beach. Santa Cruz, for those of you who know California geography. Um... So we're very close. I grew up going to the beach as a little girl every weekend. Um, our my dad's family um, owned a, or still does, owns a um, house on, at the beach. So we went there every summer for several weeks, and we'd go back and forth, and you know we'd book it in and go as often as we could. We grew up on the beach, literally. Um, so I'm a little beach girl, California beach girl. Proud to say that. I did not surf. <laughs> I didn't swim in the ocean either. But boy, could I swim in a pool. I was on the aquatics team. Water ballet. Kind of went along with my other ballet. So it was perfect during the summer. I'd come out of the hot dance studio. My mom would take us over to the swim and racket club. And I'd get to go swimming for the afternoon and it kind of helped those sore achy muscles because I'd be at the academy you know all day dancing and it would be nice to stop in at the club and go swimming or play tennis I love to play tennis as a kid my best friend Kimmy and I would go to swim and racket clubs to each other's club all the time and play tennis and swim and we grew up you know, either on the beach or in the swim and racket club or in the ballet studio. That's That was it for me. She did a lot of other things, but um, she did some dance. I think she was tap, but she didn't, she didn't keep at it. I, I was heading for the, I was heading for the big time and then injured myself, which was stupid. So that was the end of that. So needless to say, my right knee is completely totaled. They overdid the surgery way back then. They didn't know any better. I need to have a knee replacement, but because of my health issues, they won't do it. The chances of my getting an infection and losing my leg are too high. So, um, and I've worn out the other knee from putting all the pressure on it. So that one isn't any better. Put all the weight on that one. So I need a double knee replacement, but that can't happen. So what do we think? I like that. I know it's very, mm, 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 but I don't know any other way to do it. I'll put some other things in between. We'll put some roses and some other flowers or something and words. And But I think these are my base pieces. I like it. It's not too steampunky, but I think it'll work for this. So let's... um. 
let me oh, ink up a couple more things here. And you know, the thing about these boards, until I cut it up, well, even after I cut them, I can add things depending upon the book they go in. I would love to do a journal around this, you know, and add in like old documents and um, buttons and lace. And I could just see this is the jumping off point for something really pretty. So, because you know I can reprint this kit about 110 times, so. No, not that many, but, you know, I could reprint if I need to. Okay, now I'm going over the the um, vintage, ugh, Distress Vintage Photo with the Pink Spun Sugar um, Distress Oxide. Now, this is much softer than everybody asks what's the difference. Well, for me, what I saw is that this is a little more dense and harsh. This is a little more sheer and soft. That's how I see it. So, you know, uh, I'm going to go right over my um, vintage photo with that. I'm going to add the pink and brown, basically, because this whole thing, pretty much, and I'm just using what's on my dauber right now. Until I see it, I'm not getting any more pink. Sorry, ladies. I don't know how to do this and not get it up to my face. Let me sit back and maybe that'll be easier. I hope you ladies are enjoying this little two-part series. Um, uh, I know my videos are long and some of you probably don't watch after about the first 15 minutes, but um, there's I can do nothing in 15 minutes. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. So I'm in here crafting anyway, so hopefully you are crafting along with me and don't mind the time. Or you're listening to me while you're doing your other chores. I listen to videos while I'm cleaning or, you know, whatever, doing my hair, or I get out of the shower and I'm doing all the good stuff, you know, I'll listen to videos, listen to them while I'm having my lunch or my breakfast, not dinner, of course, but depends if my husband's sitting with me or not. I didn't make this a perfect circle on purpose, but it is kind of wonky. There we go. You hear me take deep breaths because I do have asthma and I have to breathe. My oxygen goes way down if I don't do that. Hope it doesn't bug you too much. You wouldn't want me getting lightheaded and passing out on the table now, would you? Because <laughs> that could happen. Oh, I never had asthma either as a kid or any other time I developed that as a grown-up. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? Same with the allergies. Who knew? You would think you would have the same thing your whole life. No, not. Let's see. I'm going to keep her straight, but I'm going to. All right. So I feel like we need. The thing is, this is so busy. I just don't want to put like any book page under it. I could use. I'm looking around my cart that I have next to me. You know, I have pearls. I have everything under the sun. I could use some laces. I could use ribbons. That's the problem. I could do like about a million things. Um, I'm going to get some water. Excuse me a minute. Uh, think and drink in this case. Um, I feel like it calls for lace. I mean, I, it just seems like it's screaming at me. We need lace. So the question is, do I use scraps or do I pull out the good stuff? the big stuff. Let me get the lace box. I know you guys have seen this. Before I go glue anything down, I really want to get it. Oh, sorry. This chair. Eek. All right. I'm going to end up on my butt, my rear end one of these days. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to, I think I need some like a little bit of, yeah, I need some dimension, as I'm always saying. I can use cheesecloth. I do have it. Um, just don't know. Now, I want something with a little more texture. I mean, it has texture, don't get me wrong, but I have a little bit of this left. 
Fingers crossed there's more in my box. There is! Yay! I didn't use it all up the other day. I thought I did when I was doing my clusters. I hope you ladies saw that because those would be fun on here. You could take and just put clusters all over a master board and have a finished board in like a really quick amount of time. I don't know where I put those. <laughs> Otherwise, I would show you. Um, so. I think I will... Oh, yeah. And I also think the other thing I could use on here, excuse me, while I dig through my cart next to me, where my pearls are and all my goodies. Somebody, Someone asked to see that cart. Um, I'll clean it up a little before I show you. <laughs> I'm also thinking I could use some of this ruched up. So let's get, I'm going to run out of time. Um, sorry, I just complete. I don't know what happened there. I, I don't. I guess I went to my happy place. Forgot to come back. Oh, that's pretty. It's not as dark as this though. I'm not usually this indecisive. It's just it's so pretty. I could do like a million different things. I mean, every corner could be something else. I think that's too too floofy, shiny. Yeah, I think I could get a couple different laces on here. Alrighty. Well, we know we're going to need some fabric scissors here. It seems like I'm going to want a longer... I just got to pretend y'all aren't here and then I'll do okay. You are though. I know you are. I shouldn't say that. You are here and I don't want to pretend you're not because it makes it my day when you're here. Yeah. I think I'm not, this is a weird seam. I think that's why I chose to cut that off. I think it was something from the factory. I got these big bolts of lace way back when my girlfriend and I went to these big, what they used to call um, truckload sales. And there'd be a semi backed up to the fabric store. And you could, and there were tables out in front of it. And they would haul it out and put it on the tables. And you go, you would go through it as fast as you could and grab your bolts of lace on, on little wrapped on cards. And you would just grab as much stuff as fast as you could. And then we would go through it and split it up. And, you know, my mom would go with us sometimes. And sometimes she got to go and I couldn't go. So my best friend Debbie and I, who sewed together for years and years, she's now in Georgia. So I don't get to see her. But, um, oh my gosh, we did a lot of sewing together. We used to make things for brides. I'm going to see if I can rip this because I think that would be cool, right? Get this out of my way. Oh yeah, that was easy. We used to go to these things and we'd go, we'd hear there was gonna be a truckload sale and we would go and run over to, it was Hancock's House of Fa Hancock's Fabric Warehouse or something like that. And we would run over there and you know see what we could get. We both worked in House of Fabrics together. We grew up together kindergarten through high school got married we were in she was in I was in her wedding and she was supposed to be in mine but something happened and she couldn't be so lifelong friends had our kids not far from each other or her daughter and my son were same age or very close within a few months of each other okay last time it was right side this time I seem to be working on the left side okay we're left siding it today I wish I could get this more. It is vintage though. It's old and it's tea dyed. So. I feel like I need to like squish it up. It's too flat. There we go. Uh oh. You know what that's going to mean, right? There go my nails. It's going to be a fabric tack kind of day. I'm going to need my little finger. I need this. Okay. So 
Same with this one. I'm going to squish it up and I'll do the same thing over here. I think I'll work with what's right in front of me because you know what? I'm going to run out of time. I can see that already. Where'd my glue go? Oh, there it is. I think I'll get that. changing what I want to do here. I don't know. I don't want these flowers on top of each other. That's bugging me. That's on the same side. I honestly don't know if I can create on camera in a, in, in a timed Let me try this one. I feel like I want ruffles, but I don't want to pull out my sewing machine. It's out, but I have to leave the camera to do it. Okay, I'm gonna, 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 I'm going to probably just made my glue dry out. Okay. Don't you love it when you can't tell what the right side of your fabric is? I mean, your ribbon? Yeah. I didn't I didn't bring, I should have grabbed a couple more fingers. There's a couple in the pack. My daughter was asking me where I got them, and I told her it was our Dollar Tree, but they only had a few left. I had to run right over there and get it. She said, well, I would need a whole hand. And I said, yeah, they probably had enough for you to do a whole hand. And she says, no, both hands. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think they had that much left. I was shocked I could even find them. I mean, really. I forgot who I saw using them, and I was like, oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. I want to say it was Lori Girl on the Ridge. Maybe. Now I'm getting in the groove. Of course, I'm going to run out of time. I might go a little over the hour today because this is a big project. This is no little project here. Ah, oh, there we go. See, there's the dimension I was looking for. Got it. Because what will happen is when I cut these out, they will not need to be decorated. They are going to be done pretty much, I think. I think. I'm doing the decorating before I do the cutting. I don't know if you guys can see this. Am I off camera? Let me get it up there. Um, I might, I just might. I don't know where I got this cheesecloth. Um, I think, I think somebody sent it to me. Um, and something I bought as part of a kit. And, um, what I was thinking was maybe... You know how those hats back then had the lace? I almost feel like it needs, yeah, look at that. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decorate every corner and they're gonna get cut up at some point and. Huh, this is going to have to be Fabri-Tac, I just realized. Okay, I'm getting in the zone, so I'm getting a lot quieter. I notice I tend to mumble when I get into the zone. Sorry about that. But when you're thinking and you're creating, it's hard for your brain to work on both sides, at least mine, at the same time. I'm going to actually tilt this on purpose. I'm making it crooked on purpose. Ah! Oh, everybody, get back where you're supposed to be. 
Um, let's see what we could do with this one. I actually think I'm going to do it right onto the hat and then see if that's going to work. If not, I can just pull it off. And it's not like stuck to the... And I can trim it down. I think that's what I'm going to do. Mm. Oops. Come on now. I, there's something happening out front. I need to check. Huh. Weird. Sound like someone was like digging in the rock out front and my husband's not out there. Could be just the wind blowing in the trees, maybe. When I had the palm tree out there, which they just took down, oh, very, I think before I started, just before I started doing videos, we took down our palm tree out front. It had gone 40, 60 feet in the air. It was huge. Boy, that was a scary thing. Having it come down, watching it come down. We had it removed because it's just a hot mess, full of bugs and not healthy. So um, we got rid of it and um, you would hear the birds in it. You know, making nests or looking for bugs or, um, but the crows were starting to nest in it and talk about noisy, messy, mean birds. Oh my goodness. The black crows here are not nice. Lots and lots of dimension in that. There we go. Okay. I'm getting where I want to go with this. Let's move on to her. I gotta see if I have any more of that lace. I have some of that, but I don't think I want that. Um, um, um. I'm probably gonna have to go dig in for lace later. Go to my other lace boxes and see if I have any more of that same vintage lace, because I don't think I do. I think I, I think I finally did, finally, finally did use up everything I stuck in my box. Because I go through and grab lengths of stuff and throw it into my little box here so I can use it for projects and not have to go dig for big um, pieces. I do like this, but I, it's got a lot of texture. I don't have to have, maybe I'll move that up there. That way it's not so matchy-matchy. And I hate to say this, ladies, but I'm coming on my hour. Can you believe I've already been working on this for an hour? Where does the time go? That's crazy. I really wanted to show you this. I don't know whether to do a part three. I don't know if you guys want to see that. Or if I am just would be better off just finishing them off camera so you could see it. I hate doing that because a lot of times I just don't get back to these. I'm on to the next thing. I'm on to the next project. I have so many things to do. Um, I think I'm going to try to do it on this side this time. I know one thing I'm going to do because it isn't tea dyed or coffee dyed or oh, I'm going to distress my lace. Maybe what I could do is do a part two and a part three all that you could see in one day. So you could like, you could split it up, but I could do it in one day and then you could go finish watching it. I just spent too much time chit chatting at the beginning. I got to quit that. I normally would cut that hard part off the lace, but this time I want it gathered. So I think it's kind of good that I didn't do that.
Yeah, that doesn't want to stick. I feel like I need the glue gun for this one. I'm going to make her less straight as well. I don't think everything needs to be lined up and perfect, but I tend to do that from sewing all those years, but I'm trying to break that habit and maybe add a little, little more creativity. I'm going to have to hold that down as good as fabric check is. Like I said, it isn't really meant for paper. Someone was saying they really dislike fabric check. It doesn't work well on paper. No, it wasn't designed for that. So, um, hmm, I feel like that needs something under it too. I need to pull that back up while well, it's still wet. Let me get a piece of this. This stuff is really um, hard to work with. I. would help <laughs> take off the finger oh boy that comes apart easy <laughs> I just ripped the living daylights out of that yeah let's uh, let's put that under there one thing I know is bothering me I want to look a little older, you know, like it's been around in her closet for a while and she pulls out her corset and it's um, a little tattered from use, a little grungy, a little bit. I like scrunching it up. I think that's so fun. I hear one of the cats at the door is probably letting me know, Mama, it's lunchtime. Why are you not feeding us? They are so well trained, so used to their routine from babyhood that they will let us know what time of the day it is. I can tell you, we know when it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner because they eat three times a day, little bits. I can't let them graze because one of them, Misty, she would eat all day long and be like 300 pounds. So that little girl has to have scheduled times. And so poor Tommy, he doesn't get to graze. He's a grazer, but I just cannot let him, her do that. So they eat when we eat. We all eat together, little bits. Alrighty, those two corners are looking good. I'm happy there. You know what I'm gonna wanna add to these is gonna be some pearls. Oh, well, my crafty friends, I just noticed we are, believe it or not, at an hour. Oh, I can't believe it. We didn't get to finish this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the camera. And um, then I'm going to go ahead and film part three to this. So hopefully I can finish this one and get on to the other one so you can see that or at least show you what they are. And what I may try to do is have part two and three both on Friday. Because I already have Monday figured out and ready to go. So I I think this is what we're going to do. I think we're going to have, you can have the option of watching them both on Friday or schedule it through the weekend. But I'll, I'll have them both come out on Friday if I can. And then, you know, we'll we'll go from there. So thank you for watching. I'm thrilled that you came and hung out with me today. I had a great time. And I will see you all very soon. Love and hugs. Bye-bye.